they forget, the left and the media forgets that we're in an era of reality. This is real. So there's, for the first time, we went eight years and didn't see anything that was a correlating number. I mean, it was so obvious. Now, it couldn't have been that obvious because even today, I'm still the only one that's noticed. I whined about it for eight years and nobody else did. And I was beginning to think I was nuts. And here we are since this administration started, all of a sudden, bingo, all the numbers are correlating like they're supposed to. So when you get high manufacturing and you get a good productivity number and so on and so forth, there are numbers that equate to people being hired and people going back to work and those kinds of things. And so when you have people going back to work or an unemployment rate getting lower and there is no consumer confidence, no good business sentiment, you don't have any productivity, something's wrong. Well, what was wrong during that eight years of the Biden-Obama era was that as the numbers were coming in, they were whacking people off the rolls of participation. So we eventually got to where the labor participation rate was at a 40-year low. That was the first time that ever happened, a 40-year low. And the answer by the left was, well, yeah, they're all retired. They're baby boomers. They've all retired. So they, you know, we had this impression, well, they're all sitting on the beach and playing golf in that nice. And I kept saying it's not even possible because though the government may be lying to us, they never were smart enough to change their own numbers on the BLS website. And according to the government that was lying about the wrong numbers and why it was happening, they were reporting what was really happening and what was really happening. And from the age group of 25, or I think it was 24, actually, from 24 to 55, that was 90% of the unemployment and the lack of labor participation. I don't think they were laying on the beach or playing golf. But anyway, it changed the mathematical calculation. So it looked like the unemployment was going down, down, down. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, what happened to um, government assistance, disability rates? and um, Exactly. Highest food stamp participation programs. ever. Uh, highest disability benefits ever. That doesn't sound like retirement to me. No, it sure doesn't. And poverty rate went up every single month the president was in office. The poverty rate went up. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's F-I-S-M dot TV.